So there's been a lot of talk about the lymphatic system, preparing it for a cleanse or just overall health of your lymphatic system for the overall health of your body. But there's another system that goes with it called the glymphatic system. And that's the lymphatic system of the brain going down your spinal cord, otherwise known as the lymphatic system of the central nervous system. Much like the other lymphatic system, this system is comprised of pores, pathways, and channels that help your body rid itself of cellular waste. So much like your lymphatic system, your glymphatic system holds on to waste from the brain. And if that area is not cleared out, just like your lymphatic system down below, it can lead to neurodegenerative issues like Alzheimer's. Now your heart health, your immune health, your vascular health, your lifestyle, and your diet all play a role into the health of your glymphatic system. And that system is most efficient when you are a moving. So your blood is pumping, your blood is flowing, and your circulatory system is operating through your body. And B, sleep, deep sleep. The glymphatic system is most active when you are in that rest and repair stage of your sleep cycle. Now this glymphatic system is a newer science. It's still being studied. There's still a ton happening in this field of science. And I've even come across some information that your glymphatic system is a key to communication between your body and your brain. So a couple ways to help support that system. A, hydration. You need fluid in your body, healthy fluid, electrolyte fluid, remineralized fluid in your body to keep that system moving and pumping healthy. You need to prioritize sleep too. I know how hard that can be sometimes, especially if you have little ones running around, getting the right amount of sleep can be difficult and getting into a deep reparative sleep can also be difficult. So prioritizing that is going to be key for you. I think that's really helped me a lot with my sleep is blue light blocking glasses at night. Before I go to bed, about an hour to two hours before bed, we shut off all the lights in the house. I have low light runners plugged into the wall, red lights plugged into the wall so we can still see, but it's not that high LED or halogen bright lights coming from the top down into your eyes. It's a red light runner on the bottom. Throw some blue light glasses on and get off the phone about an hour before bed so your eyes aren't staring at light, thinking that it needs to stay. And then I take magnesium before bed as well. And I've noticed a much deeper sleep for me with adding magnesium to my uh, daily supplements, my nightly supplements, as well as a spray topically. I do spray magnesium on my feet before bed with a little valerian root. So when I do magnesium, valerian root, and the spray magnesium, I sleep like a baby. Now I do have the magnesium and uh, glasses that I use up in my Amazon store if you want to check it out. But much like everything else we've talked about so far, it's healthy exercise, healthy food, healthy hydration, and proper sleep.